So I went back and made my original Excel obstacle course a little bit simpler to complete. It dawned on me that a lot of you might want to learn shortcuts, but find this method a little bit overwhelming. The last thing I want to do is overwhelm anybody who just wants to learn. In fact, this obstacle course is so simple, you can complete it just with two fingers. So when I was a newbie in Excel, there's always a level of embarrassment you had to go through to learn these kind of basic things. I always had to walk over to some old grizzled processor and wait for the person to stop typing, look up with their bloodshot eyes and go, let's just get this over with. I'm not that kind of coach. So this video will be a lot easier to follow and a lot more laid back for anyone, any age, any skill level, anyone. I'll also try to throw in some explanations that you won't find anywhere else. And I can assure you that this method is one of a kind and I'm the only one out there teaching it. So relax, take a deep breath and we'll get started. I've gone double stack here. I've got my finger cam here, and then below I've got the no board, which actually highlights the keys that I type. So I hope that helps people additionally. Hope it doesn't crowd the screen too much. Just let me know in the comments. So you can find this download at my stand store if you want to. You can also just follow along with a blank spreadsheet. But really, we get better with these things with practice. So the stand store download recommended. One thing that's important is to have this open first before you've opened any other spreadsheets. If you have any open spreadsheets, no problem. Just close them and then open this first. The reason is the timer. The way I have the timer set up, it will not work if you have a even a blank spreadsheet you've opened up behind it, right? So just have the spreadsheet open only. And another thing to remember is when you close it, when you're done with it, not to save changes. And the reason for that is obvious if you think about it, you don't wanna to have to pull it up again and have it not be fresh for you to start again. So just remember not to save it. So what we see here is what I've called the X timer. And you can type any character in here, but X, if you type in the green and hit enter, it starts the timer. X in the red box, enter, stops the timer. And this background will change from green to yellow to red, depending on what kind of score you get, which I think is kind of fun. So only click on the Start tab. I'm not going to use the shortcut just yet to move tabs, but that is in this obstacle course. We see a dialog pane that says what the obstacle is and what the hints are to complete it. So the first obstacle is to delete the blue column without using your mouse. These have little periods in them. Let's say we just want to delete it for some reason. Again, I'm only using two fingers for this whole course. If I hold down control with my left index finger and tap spacebar with my right, I highlight the entire column. Then if I want to delete it, control minus sign. There's a minus sign here, that works. Control Z undoes actions in case you were wondering. That's a helpful one too. So again, control, spacebar. I prefer using this minus sign because I have a full keyboard. Not everybody does, so that works too. And one thing of note, control plus sign bumps it over to the right, inserts columns. So that's also something you can practice, although it's not listed. But if you are going to use the plus sign up here, you have to hold down control and shift with one Finger. The reason for that is that the plus sign on this keyboard is shared with the equal sign and you have to hit shift to get that going. This is the same exercise except with rows. So holding down shift with one finger and hitting spacebar with the next highlights the entire row. And again control minus sign to delete it. Just a little bit about navigation with the arrows. You might be accustomed to clicking around with the mouse like this. If you don't want to use the mouse, um, it could be a hybrid, of course, but I find the control arrows to be a better way to navigate. So that's simply holding down control and typing arrows. I call it the warp key. It warps to the next cell that has something in it in that direction. So if I can go to start to end, or I can jump these X's. If I do control right again, I go all the way down to the last cell in Excel. Same if I go down here. You can hit all four corners of Excel easily without having to scroll at all. So 
So this exercise is just using the warp key control and arrows. Note that if you hold down shift and use arrows, you highlight cells as you go. In another two, two finger maneuver, hold down shift and control, you can highlight and warp. It's a similar navigation except you're going down. And then we've come to the switching sheets shortcut, which is simply using page up and page down. You hold down control and tap page up or page down. Page down goes left to right, page up goes right to left. So control, holding it down with one finger, tapping, page down. And that's all that obstacle is. Now here we have copy down. So if we have something in a cell above, we have both cells highlighted. Control D copies down, or if we're just right beneath it, it just assumes we want to copy down. That's one way to do it. Another way is to hold down Shift, highlight these cells, and then hit Control D once. We can practice it both ways. Another way is to hold down Control and Shift and go and tap right arrow and then continue holding down shift and hit down once. Another thing to practice. And you'll be surprised how much it comes up in real life if you use Excel a lot. So now to switch sheets, I'm going to use the shortcut control page down. I'm going to highlight these cells to the right of the ABCD and hold down control and tap R. So what this does is copy to the right. Auto sum. A lot of you may be accustomed to going into auto sum up here and then hitting enter to get the auto sum. What I find to be easier is just to hold down alt and tap this equal sign, and then hit enter. It's the same thing also if you're accustomed to using the sum formula equals sum, open parentheses. See how much faster that is? Next we have copy paste special values. I'm not sure if you are accustomed to why you would do this, but it does come up a lot in data processing that you have a formula over here. If you see the formula up here, equals A13 plus one, that's a formula. So A13 has a five in it, although it's is the same color as the background to hide it. But if I simply hold down Control and Shift one finger and hit down, I can copy this using Control C, which a lot of you may be familiar with. Over here we hit Control V, and that just pastes the cell contents from the formula bar. So as you can see, it's not the same. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So to copy only the results of the formula, if we just want the results, again, control shift one finger down, control C go over here, control shift V, paste values. So here we can see in the formula bar, we just have a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Many reasons why you might want to paste values only. Another way you might be accustomed to doing this is with the right click button, paste special values. That's how we all learn it. That's a lot faster. Finally, we get to the end. And if you hold down control and tap page up, get back to the very beginning. And then we can type in X and see what our final time is. Thank you guys for watching. This download is available on my stand store. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.